everyone. Today is the last day to enter my 2,000 subscribers plus video. Uh, so if you haven't had a chance to already do that, please go check it out um, tonight at midnight. But to be honest, I'm not going to be up at midnight to check. So pretty much before I get up tomorrow morning. So there you go. Uh, also, this is going to be, well, you'll see in the title what it is. But I wanted to take a brief side note to just kind of address a pet peeve of mine. So I was watching another beauty guru's channel who I adore, 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 and um, my beef is not with her, but one of her, um, I don't even know if it's a subscriber, but one of the viewers kind of like jumped on her for using a word that she thought was politically incorrect. And to defend my friend, I jumped in and kind of said, you know, relax. And she came back with, mind your own business, I wasn't talking to you. Let me just say something. When you post something on the internet, it's not private anymore. The whole world could see it. Thousands of viewers. In this guru's case, probably 60,000 viewers are watching this. So if you want something to stay private, don't put it out in the comment section. So just here's my rule of thumb. Praised in public, criticized in private. So this person could have just as easily sent a direct message to the guru and just said, hey, I know you probably didn't mean anything by this, but your comment really hurt my feelings. And that would have been perfectly appropriate. But when you put it out there in the comment section, you're asking for somebody to say something back. Okay, so enough with that. I totally did not intend to go shopping today. I went and got my hair done. If you haven't noticed, I am very, very blonde. And um, I like it. I wanted to be blonder. My husband put in a request for blonder this morning when I left, when he left for work. He said, oh, you're getting your hair done. Could you get blonder? Sure. So I did a full, I just did the usual base color and then a full head of highlights and um, I know it's fall and we're supposed to be going darker, but I'm not a tree. I do not change with the seasons and if I want to be blonder in November, then I'm going to be. So, um, but anyway, you know, when you get your hair washed and they, like, I think the makeup all around the edge of my face is gone, but I don't have time to fix that, do this video and get the kids from school. So you'll just have to deal with my blotchy makeup. And if you're wondering, I will do a tutorial on this look. Um, later in the week. This is my version of Pixie Woo's latest uh, tutorial she posted. I think it's called Easy Smoky Brown Eyes and it is easy and it can be duplicated with a variety of products. So more on that later. So my intention was just to go to Walgreens today because they have a 50% off sale on Wet n Wild products. And so I did go there and then I ran into a friend of mine there and then we kind of did a side trip to Ulta. So let me show you what I got. Um, Let's see. The first stuff is Wet n Wild, and this is all Nur's fault. Nur, if you're watching, you owe me $22. No, I'm kidding. Um, I didn't spend quite that much, but she's a very, very bad influence. So my first... Oh, and you know what? Shoot, I didn't get the whole sticker off. Okay, if you're going to get Wet n Wild products, you need an X-Acto knife because they seal these things like, I don't know, like there's gold in these packages, which there might be gold eyeshadow, but it's not solid gold. So I'm going to... Try to open this without slicing off my fingers. Okay, so this is the one palette that I don't have. This is the Vanity palette, I think. Yes, it's right there in front of me. Vanity. And um, you've all seen this. Nurse shown you this. All my viewers are Nerve viewers originally anyway. So you've seen Nurse talk about this. Um, this side is all matte, and this side is all shimmery or glittery. And they're just nice, um, you know, neutral tone browns. And so I felt like I must have it. And uh, it was, I think it was $249. $249 for all of this. So I got that. And then um, a lot of my viewers are so sweet and they said, you must get the brulee. And so I did. And it's this color right here. And I haven't even swatched these. It's a really nice. Oh, I like this. It's a really nice matte, um, kind of like, I'm guessing like Max Vanilla is my guess. And I, I needed this because I broke my Revlon, my vintage lace. So this is going to be very handy. I like, I'm getting away from shimmer on my brow bone. And so this is a nice highlight color. And then I saw Nur showing me this. Me. Of course, she was talking to me. And I thought, well, why not? These were, I think, these individual, yes, these are retailing for 99 cents. So this is called Penny, and it's a really pretty 
kind of a softer peachy coppery color. I have a lot of deep copper, but I don't have this um, penny, new penny color. It does look like a penny, like a, like a shiny new American penny. I don't know if you can see that. But this is a nice like all over lid wash. I think that would be a nice color. And then I just saw this um, color. This was, I already have Nutty, which I've said is one of my favorites. And um, this is called Kitten. And it's just a pretty purple. Um, I don't need really purple, like I need a hole in the head. But it's pretty. I'm sure for 99 cents I can spare. You know, it comes off, it washes off as a very, I think this would be also a fun lid color. Because um, I think you can put it on pretty sheer. So that's that. What else did I get? Oh, yes. I picked up two nail polishes, or varnish, as they say in the UK. I love... Anyway. So I picked up on the copper vein. This one is called Rustic. It's number 233. And these, the nail lacquer, as they say here, actually, these were 99 cents. So this is kind of a nice, deeper, coppery color. I have one similar, but not quite as copper. I can justify this purchase. So this is from their Craze collection. And then I just thought this was kind of fun. This reminds me of an OPI, I think it's called Strawberry something. That's probably not very helpful, but it's a nice shimmery fuchsia. Fun for toes. I don't, I don't think I'd put this on my fingernails, on my hands. And then I just picked this up. I don't even know what it is. It's called Speed Gloss, and it says Energizing Lip Shine. It says energy boosting ingredients for a fusion of intense color and shine with a kick. I don't know what's in here. Like what could possibly, do they put caffeine in here? I don't know. So let's, I've not even opened it. Okay, so it's got this, the tube is squeezy. It's like those rocket, pocket rocket things. And that's, it comes out pretty true to the, it's very gold and shimmery. Subtle though, it's right there. It smells minty, it's minty. Okay, so that's cool. I'll just put some on right now. Okay, well there you go. I have no idea how this looks because I can't see and I shall. We'll just have to wait till the video's over. You even smell the mint on, I can smell the mint. Hmm, okay, well we'll see how this, it's kind of sticky. And then, of course, um, you know, you're at Walgreens, so I got deodorant and um, this new tooth whitening toothpaste I saw. It's called Luster Premium White. Um, my teeth are not so white. Um, and this one is not only whitens teeth, but it's anti-sensitivity and it has eubiotics, whole mouth health. I don't know, but it was a good price and it was a whitener, so I figured it's, it's worth a shot. And if I don't like it, I'll just pick up my crust. Oh! There's more. Then I picked up, um, I have the Fabu Liner. I talk about it all the time. I have it in black, so I figured I might as well pick another one up in brown. And that's what it looks like. I love, love, love. Look at that fine line. Love. It's a nice chocolate brown. These are um, $1.99. You cannot go wrong with this. I, I'm, unless you are one of those very few people where you get itchy from it, I really, really like this Jordana line. And they only come in black and brown. Those are your two choices. And then it's all nurse fault. I had to pick up some lip liners. They're called Kohl Kajal. No, one of them's Kohl Kajal. And it's a, uh, this one's in natural. And I haven't sharpened them yet, but it looks like that. Just pretty much the color of my lips. And then the very, very rare occasions I wear a bright berry or red lip, I got the lip liner in petal which I'll just watch right next to it it's just a little more of a brick red and then the other one I picked up was not did I just pick up two of the same ones <gasps> no that was nutmeg the one I swatched for you was nutmeg I think and this one is natural oh dear <laughs> I don't know they all kind of look the same let me try this I don't know how I'm going to explain yeah, they're pretty much all the same color. I think this is natural, and then the one on the end is nutmeg. Nominal difference, but for 99 cents, what the heck. So that was my Walgreens haul. Then, um, I, as you know, I took off my um, nails, and they're really weak. They're very short. I mean, can you see? They're right to the edge of my 
finger. There's nothing showing over the edge. And they bend and they're flimsy. And I asked Lisa, Lisa D1, um, she does her own nails and they look like they're in fabulous shape. So I asked her what she uses and she suggested the OPI Nail Envy. Except that she didn't tell me which kind. Apparently there's like five kinds. So I just went with the original. And let me tell you, $16.95 for this bottle. So I'm hoping it works. It's definitely cheaper than a manicure. So I will probably be trying this very soon because I chipped a nail while trying to wrestle open the Wet n Wild products. So I got that and then at Ulta they were having a buy anything get one free for OPI. So I got the um, Ski Till We, is it Ski Till We Drop? Ski Teal, get it? Ski Teal, because it's teal. Till We Drop. Um, I saw, I think Makeup by Allie had this on and she looked adorable in it. So, And then this is the bad part about Ulta. You go up to the register and they have these. These shades of gray by Ulta, it's $7.99 for four little ones, and um, I think I'm going to have to use one of these. In fact, I know it, like, immediately, as soon as I turn this off. So there's this pretty gray, and this pretty purpley gray, and this pur this, um, oh, what's this one called? These all have no names. This one is, um, oh yes, they do. I'm sorry, this is Smokescreen. High Rise Haze, Concrete Jungle, and City, come out, City Sidewalk. So, I don't know. It's going to be one of these two. We'll see. So that's all my haul. Is that it? That's it. It actually wasn't that bad. It was about $40 for everything. So if you think about it, I got a lot of stuff. And I want to do a real quick outfit of the day. So, um, this is a mixture of cheap stuff and expensive stuff. So these earrings I got on clearance at a boutique for $3. They're these pretty gold rectangles with, um, I like those little beads. And then this uh, is from Walmart. And I picked up this, it's just a v-neck top, nothing, you know, just cotton. I got this at Target. And this little sweater goes over it. Um, there's no hood or anything. And then these are dirty. Oh crap. Oop. Well, I didn't swear. I just got my um, makeup all over my jeans. Oh well. These are my extremely old Seven for All Mankind jeans. They're boot cut and I cut them some more because they're really long. So I just ch chopped off the bottom with the scissors and this hole is legitimate wear and tear. I didn't buy it like that. And then um, I have no belt on. I have my usual my tortoiseshell watch from Walmart and my gold bead funky bracelet from Walmart and then my boots love these um, these were a Mother's Day present from my husband and I don't know if you can see them can you see them? they are Ariat and they have um, like gym shoe soles in them so they're very very comfortable so I am going to sign off because I want to go do my nails, but first I have to go magic eraser my jeans because today is my oldest son's last football game. So I want to be clean for that and um, actually go change into my spear gear. But um, I just wanted to share my big old haul with y'all. And oh, and I also got this Purology um, super smooth shampoo and conditioning anti-fade samples which will come in great when I travel I'll just throw these in my suitcase that's it that's the whole haul thank you for watching um, thanks for all your kind comments and, and emails and all that and my timer is going off so that must mean I've hit my limit so thanks again for watching and tomorrow stay tuned for the um, announcement of the winner of the 2000 subscribers contest thanks so much bye bye